All right, guys, let's get at this quick review because you're going to have an assessment at some point, I'm sure. We're going to review two things, how to multiply fractions and how to multiply mixed numbers. As we learned in prior videos and all your slides so far, when multiplying fractions, you're really just multiplying across. It's a division and multiplication problem at the same time. Three divided by five times one divided by three. Well, we can clearly just multiply across and get three fifteenths. That'd be your answer. Or three divided by 15. Two divided by eight times four divided by three. Or two eighths times four thirds. This is going to give us eight twenty-fourths. At any given time, you should be able to refer to your multiplication table, your multiples charts, or any of your tools in order to answer these questions. 6 times 5, 30. 7 times 6, 42. 30 over 42, or 30 40 seconds, depending on how you want to say it. Multiplying across when just multiplying fractions is all you need to do. Mixed numbers. This was the area model. We've done this in the past. I told you I like to take the first fraction, decompose it, and use it on the right or the left side, two and two thirds times five and two fifths. Our whole numbers are first. Two times five, well that equals 10. Two times two fifths, or two over one, or two copies of two fifths. Either way, you're looking at four fifths because two over one really means two times two give me the four and then one times five gives me the five two thirds times five well that's five copies of two thirds or two thirds five times so again five over one would be five times two is ten one times three is three giving me an improper fraction, which I want to convert, and I know, I'll put or here, that I can pull out three groups of three from 10, which would be three and one third. So three over three, three over three, three over three, is nine over three, leaving me one left over. So three holes and one third. I can circle that. And then two thirds times two fifths is exactly what we're doing here. Multiplying across four fifteenths. So now I'm going to add them all up on the side, keeping it as neat as possible. I have 10 and four fifths. Then I have three and one third. And four fifteenths. Now we recognize what? We don't have a common denominator, so when we add, we have to have a common denominator. Our bottom number needs to be the same. We want equivalent fractions. When we want equivalent fractions, we multiply by a form of a whole. So I know that three and five are factors of 15. I can just multiply by a whole. So five over five. Here, I'm gonna go and multiply three over three. And this is gonna give me multiplying across 12 Fifteenths, five, fifteenths, one times five is five, three times five is fifteen, and I can just keep my four fifteenths, and now I have a common denominator for all three. So I'm going to add my numerators, four and five is nine, nine plus twelve is twenty-one, this is going to give me an improper fraction, which is okay, so I have twenty-one fifteenths, I can take out one group of 15 over 15, so I would subtract it, that would give me one. And then 21 minus 15 is six, so that's six fifteenths. Now I have that mixed number to add with these whole numbers. Well, 10 plus three is 13, plus the one is 14, and my remaining fraction, six Fifteenths. So when I multiply two and two thirds times five and two fifths, 
I come up with 14 and 6 fifteenths. This is the review of multiplying regular fractions and mixed numbers using an area model. I hope this helps. Hope everybody's having a great day. Talk to you soon.